Nathan here with another five minute look and today we're doing uncut gems. We're gonna start things off by going over some of the technical details. Directed by the Safdie brothers, this movie was shot using a mix of digital and film. And the colorist, Damian Vanderkusen, also worked with the cinematographer using an airy scan to get an accurate film grain so they can really emulate that film like look and that's gonna be what we're doing here today. So what we'll be using today is a shot from my Blackmagic Pocket 4K on a short film I worked on called Homesick. Starting with our grade, we're gonna get in the Rec. 709 color space and there's a lot of different ways to do that, but today we're gonna to use a LUT and we're gonna use the Blackmagic Design 4K film to Rec. 709. Now, first off, I wanna make sure that we are properly white balanced. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use this little eyedropper tool on this piece of white paper and we're close. Okay, great. I'm gonna go adjust that in the raw controls here. So we're just gonna minus 300-ish, minus four. Great. So let's actually take that down to... Awesome. Now that we have our white balance set, we're gonna go in and set our contrast and basically the building blocks for what this look is gonna be. So we're gonna bump up our contrast a little bit and we're gonna go in and we're gonna drop down that gamma to get a closer exposure to the clip that we're trying to match. I'm gonna bring that up just part way here so we can see on our scopes, this is where this part of the shot from Uncut Gems is. And it gives us some good black levels to, to kind of base things off of. So we're very close there now. Now what I also wanna do is if we look here, we notice there's actually quite a lot going on in the midtones. So what we wanna do is we actually wanna bring up our midtones quite a bit here. Yeah, really bring those up. I don't think we need to bring our shadows down anymore now. We can address that later in the grade. I'm also gonna look at my vector scope here. And if we look at this shot, things are much more saturated. So we really wanna bump up our saturation a little bit in our shot. So let's bump that up to 60, great. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to add a lot more mid-tone detail, and we're literally just gonna bump that thing up to 80 to give us a much sharper, crisper look that really fits the gritty nature of this movie. I wonder how loud that train is. Next, we're gonna add in that nice blue color, and the way I'm gonna go about doing that is with my offsets but I'm gonna go into color and click printer light hotkeys. And that lets you use your uh, numpad so you can just press the buttons. So like four to take down my red, and then I press nine to bump up my blue, and let's bring one into the green with eight. It's just that easy. I'm also gonna add a little bit more green into my highlights. Great, that's getting us very close. Next, we're gonna go in and we're gonna balance our shadows. And we're gonna do that based off of this image right here. So what we gotta do is we have to bring up our blues and also bring up our reds. Let's bring up the shadows a little bit. Perfect, that's got things pretty close. Now as a last thing, we are gonna add some film grain. There's a couple days you can do this. If you have the studio version of Resolve, you can go in and grab film grain, and that's great. But if you're working with the free version, Shutterstock has a great free resource of film grains that you can just drop right onto your footage. So we're gonna take this 35 mil course, and we're going to change the composite mode 
to overlay. I'm gonna drop that opacity down a bit. Let's go to 50%. And just that easy, within five minutes, you got yourself the Uncut Gems look. Just for kicks, I'm gonna make a LUT of this and I'm gonna leave it for a download down in the description there if you don't wanna go through and make your own and just use mine, have some fun with it and see what you can do. Anyway, if you like this video, consider leaving a like and subscribing to get more great stuff like this. And if you have any recommendations for looks I should do in the future, just let me know. Okay, see ya.